Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. And Chris Fix has one of the largest, if not the largest automotive channels on YouTube. If you've had even the slightest inkling on wanting to work on your car or even fixing it, then I'm sure you've come across one of his videos. Crazy enough, it was one of his videos that actually got me to work on my own car for the first time ever. It's almost like his videos are an iconic part of my childhood history. It's how I learned how to paint brake calipers and even do my first ever oil change. All from watching a Chris Fix video. But enough about me. What I find most fascinating about Chris Fix is his insane growth and business mindset on YouTube. He's averaging millions, and I mean millions of views per video, all from his driveway. I've even noticed that he's implemented some genius revenue streams into his channel as well. As you know, there are countless videos on YouTube on how to work on your car. It's a highly saturated niche. So how come Chris Fix can average over a million views per video he uploads? Maybe he knows something that the the rest of us don't about making money, entrepreneurship, and the YouTube algorithm. In this video, I'm going to dissect their Chris Fix success story, figure out how he went from being a broke college student confused about his future to absolutely dominating the YouTube automotive niche while making millions, and I mean millions of dollars at the same time. Not only that, I'll also be emphasizing any important traits or business strategies I see Chris Fix use throughout the breakdown of his story. And trust me, there's a lot. So if you're interested in starting your own business, becoming an entrepreneur, or even blowing up on YouTube, then make sure to have a pen and paper ready as we dive right into his story. To cover the basics, his name isn't actually Chris Fix, it's Chris Magello. He grew up in New Jersey, and I'm not entirely sure how old he is, but I do believe he's in his early 30s. As you can see, the first video uploaded on his channel was from 13 years ago. And in his podcast with Graham Stephen, he states that his first car was a 1992 Cadillac DeVille. But after an accident, his parents bought him a 1996 Corvette LT4 so that he could commute to college. Key point here. I drove to school to save money. What I thought that car? was a Smart, a 1996 E4 Corvette. So I had an old DeVille, a yeah. 92 Cadillac DeVille. That was technically like my first car. This is the same Corvette that we see in his first video. Now, since most people enter freshman year of college at around 18 years old, and we know that that's when he had the Corvette, if we add roughly 13 years to that, we would get an approximate age of around 31 to, I'd say, maybe 33 years old today. Most of you probably don't know, but Chris went to college for marine biology at Rutgers University. Totally not what you'd think. While in college, he worked for the Department of Homeland Security through Port Security at Stevens Institute of Technology. And at this point in his life, YouTube wasn't really anything to him. It was kind of just a little side hobby. Yeah, he had a few fishing videos uploaded and maybe some how-to videos, but he wasn't really taking it seriously. He would just post when he had a project and it was just a way for him to document things he found interesting and that he had trouble finding online. He figured if he couldn't find a video on, let's say, changing the water pump on his Corvette, then there's probably others too that have the same problem. He decided to take it upon himself to make videos in order to help others with the same issue. Every now and then, he would upload a similar how-to style video on fixing or maintaining something. And I don't think Chris realized it at the time, probably because he was focused on college, but this is the first time we see him using some key business strategies. You see, all successful businesses offer a solution to a problem. Chris, without realizing it, was building a business on YouTube, solving the problem of hard to follow instructions for fixing common problems, general maintenance on your car. The only other way to get this information that he provided was on forums at the time, and that was difficult to follow. You see, any entrepreneur with the intent on starting their own business would need to know what problems their product or service has set out to solve, as without it, it's gonna be a very tough time to find a strong foothold in your chosen field. You also need to consider consider if it's even worth solving that problem. Now, it's one thing to find a problem that needs solving, and it's entirely another to find one that's worth solving. There have been many enthusiastic small business owners who believe their product or service was a million dollar solution to a common problem, only to discover the problem they were solving was uncommon and not a good basis for a new business. Now, hopefully you're starting to draw a connection here with how Chris started his business. At the time, the only other way to work on your car was by looking it up online and following 
written instructions and photos on forums. Chris made it easier to solve that problem people were having. It was tough to follow along, so he changed it. Chris identified that even though there was already a solution for fixing cars, he found a way to build a better version of that solution. This in itself is solving a problem because you might have determined that the current solution fails on some sort of level. And perhaps your new version of a solution works more effectively and efficiently than the existing one. Just keep in mind, Chris didn't realize what he was doing at first. His videos were getting good feedback and solid views, but he was distracted with work and college. It took him a little longer in life to realize that what he was doing was a gold mine ready to be uncovered. This may come as a surprise to some. Chris Fix learned most of his automotive skills by not working on cars at first, but boats, his dad's boat to be exact. Most of you probably think I started out learning how to fix cars, but actually I started out learning how to fix boats. Engines are engines for the most part, so boat engines typically overlap with car engines in terms of how they work and are constructed. As early as fifth grade, his dad would teach him how to maintain boat engines, replace spark plugs, splice wires, and other odd jobs. As his confidence grew though, others at the dock would notice and actually pay him for help on their boats. And this is what truly grew his skills that we've all come to appreciate today. Now, after Chris graduated from college, he applied to the New Jersey State Police Marine Division. To his surprise, he got accepted. Now, thinking this was his career path, he gave it his all. But it wasn't until he took the six-month boot camp where everything changed. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, about three quarters of the way done with his training, he broke his rib in a sparring match and was discharged on medical leave. The doctors told him it would be at least a year for his rib to recover and there's no chance he could retake the boot camp sooner. Devastated, Chris wanted to find another way to support himself. He thought he could either pick up an okay minimum wage job that like Peko or double down on his YouTube channel and hope that it makes at least enough money to get by or at least until he found something more suitable. He knew his previous videos titled How To did extremely well on YouTube so he continued to make videos using what he had learned. He gave it a shot and started making two videos a week, and everything was history from that point forward. His channels started growing exponentially, brands started to notice, companies like 3M were even flying him out to teach him about their products and how to use it in exchange for advertisement on his channel. His parents even told him to keep doing what he's doing, as he's young enough to fall and get back up, and he could always re-enlist with the New Jersey Police Department again. Flash forward to today, and he's amassed a following of over 9.7 million subscribers and over one. 0.5 billion views. Yes, that's billion with a B. It's truly incredible to see the success that Chris Fix has created, especially all by himself. He records and edits all his content alone, which is incredible because most channels of his size have full teams behind them. If we use a YouTube revenue calculator like Social Blade, it can give us a pretty good estimate on how much he is earning. Social Blade is pretty accurate in regards to views and subscriber growth, but they aren't that great in determining what a YouTuber's revenue is. As I've mentioned in previous videos, each niche has its own CPM, which is how much a YouTuber earns per thousand views. If we check out my previous video, video on how Matt Armstrong became a millionaire, we can see that car niches earn roughly four to five dollars per thousand views, which we found looking at other content creators in the space. If you want to check out this video, then make sure to check out the link in the description or click right over here. Using about four dollars and fifty cents to five dollars, we can see that Chris Fix's channel, just off YouTube revenue alone, is bringing in around five hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. And if we do the math, since his channel brought in one point five billion views, that divided by a thousand comes out to 1.59 million. And if we times that by $5, it's around $7.95 million, which is insane. Remember, this is just a rough guess based on AdSense, which has been constantly changing for years. No one knows for sure unless he reveals his earnings, but this is a fairly accurate estimate. The next thing we have to look at is his YouTube channel membership. This is a way that allows you to purchase public badges, emojis, and access access to creator perks offered by the channel. Chris states this is a way for him to answer questions that subscribers may have. He said that he's tried in the past to answer all the questions people leave on his videos, but it's become impossible. Now, a way to counter this was by offering a membership where he will answer people's paid questions as it puts them at the top of his comment section. Unfortunately, I can't see how many members Chris has on his YouTube channel, but I can put it into perspective. His membership is $1 
$1.99, which is pretty cheap for the platform. But if we take just half a percent of his subscribers, and that's one half of 1%, we would still get over 48,500 people. So if just half a percentage of his subscribers paid for a membership, that would be close to $97,000 a month. YouTube takes 30% of that, unfortunately, but that would still leave him with over $67,000 a month on top of his AdSense. And then let's not forget about his sponsors and also his merch. I haven't seen where Chris outwardly mentions or states that he's being sponsored, but in the very least, we do know that he is earning commission on the products and tools that he's either given and advertises. For a channel of his size, sponsors would jump at the opportunity to pay him easily $10,000 to review their products. But I think where he's really raking in the dough is from affiliate revenue. As you can see on practically every video he has, every product he mentions either brings you to the manufacturer's website in the description with a coupon code or an Amazon affiliate link, which also sends him money. And at the subscriber count he has and the views he gets, that's a lot of money within itself. Lastly, we need to look at his merch and his own products. Chris, by no surprise, has some of his own branded tools, which is really cool, but I'm more interested in his apparel. His website brings in over 30,000 people a month. And if just 1% of those people bought a shirt for $30, that would be $9,000 a month in just shirt sales. Pretty crazy, right? Now, it's also crazier as I've been undervaluing the amount of people that most likely bought his merchandise and his channel memberships. According to the latest data as of May, 2023, the average conversion conversion rates across e-commerce businesses were at 2.02%, which means we could probably double, if not triple his sales and still be pretty accurate. It's all too often that I begin to see a pattern in successful entrepreneurs and Chris Fix is the prime example. They all have a talent for sales and marketing and they all have a passion for creating their own business. Unfortunately, this is the end of the story for now, but I know there is still a lot we'll see from Chris Fix. And with that being said, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. And if you want to see the video about how rebuilding supercars also made Matt Armstrong a millionaire, then make sure to check out the video right over here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.